Turn subscriber, thank you so much for your support. So this weekend, I am first of all, can we say something for my braids? I know the last couple of videos I was looking a little rough, but I'm getting my eyelashes done tomorrow too. But um, shout out to Fidel Hair in Atlanta. I will tag her blog girl. She okay, I'm I'm gonna intro the blog, but let me tell you something. She took down my old braids, washed my hair, blow dried my hair, and put these long, small, knotless braids in in six hours and charge me half of what some of these other folks are gonna charge. Um, so I will link her below. But anyway, welcome to this weekend vlog. My name is Mel. I also wanna shout out the new DG, DJI, y'all know I'm new to this content YouTube thing, but the DJI Osmo 3 Pocket, Osmo Pocket 3. <laughs> Um, but yes, I will I will show my unboxing video that I did. But listen, I am filming on it now and I am absolutely loving it. It is so easy, so convenient. Um, I also have another camera. Actually, it's right here. I'll show y'all. I also have the Canon EOS as well um, that I bought, which I like as well. I use I used this one on my last sit down video. Um, and I like it, but um, this is just much easier to use. This one, I got to figure out the settings and stuff to make it look really good, but um, I am loving the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Okay, so as I'm giving my little shout outs, this, this weekend vlog <laughs> is going to be a mixture of productivity plus like fun. Um, really this weekend, I just want to bring y'all along on how, you know, as an entrepreneur, as someone that also works you know, in corporate America still as a contractor, as someone who is balancing content and family and life. Like sometimes I do have to work on the weekends, you know, um, my work does not end on Fridays, but I really want to bring y'all along as I am balancing all of my goals. I'm also going to talk about like my January goals and which ones I did meet and which ones I did not meet. So maybe I will talk through that tomorrow. But I just wanted to intro this vlog and say hello and show you my new gadgets, my new hair. Um, so this weekend, tomorrow we are going to do a road class for the first time. Um, I haven't done a road class before. I did do Pilates earlier this earlier um, earlier this week. And child, let me tell you something. It was a whole nother beast. Okay, so um, so but we are going to do a road class tomorrow. Um, I do have a little bit of work to do uh, for my client on my last walk. I'm kind of starting to get towards the end of that project. So I have like a final team training call with her, which I will bring y'all through to. And then um, I also have my mom's sister's birthday brunch, as well as a paint and sit with this professional women's group here in Atlanta. So I'll bring y'all along that. And then I'll show you like usually Monday to Friday, like I'm at home working. But when I have to work on the weekends, I try to make it fun. I try to get out. I try to go to a coffee shop or like somewhere where I can work and eat good food, something like that. So I'll, I'll kind of show you how I make my work fun on the weekends. So yeah, I just wanted to intro this one and say hello, welcome, thank you for watching. And yeah, let's get started. Road class is done. I'm gonna put the little clips in here, but girl, 
it was a really good workout. It was much do much more doable than Pilates. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try Pilates again. But rowing was really good. It really works your core, your upper body without like being super out of breath. So I'm definitely probably gonna do this like once a week. Um, a great like cardio session. Um, so yeah, I would recommend. I went to the row house in Sandy Springs. Um, so yeah, I did it through Class Pass. So um, I've definitely been doing my personal training and Class Pass this week, and I can already tell a difference. Um, just because it breaks it up a little bit, it helps me get a little bit more cardio in with the classes that I do for Class Pass, and I feel like I push myself more when I'm in a group setting versus when like strength training at the house by myself. Um, with of course my trainers' uh, workouts. But anyway, Royal House is done. I have my protein shake that I'm gonna take on the way home, and yeah, it's back to work recommend going back and watching that whole video but everything she said is 100 percent accurate i am a senior project manager in the healthcare it space i own my own project management and consulting agency i've been in the pm space now for eight years and i help other people transition into pm as well transitioning into pm is easier said than done but it is not impossible um and i did a whole video on how to transition i'll link that but essentially the first thing you want to do is learn the pm terminology right so you want to be able to know what is a project charter a project plan what is um scope creep what is stakeholder um management how do you manage your stakeholders and vendors how do you manage resources and the schedule and the and the baseline how do you manage risk and quality um how do you manage you know after the a, agile activities as a project manager so how do you facilitate your daily scrum calls things like that so that specific terminology you're going to want to know what it is and how you have done that done that within your um, previous roles so you can go on google and, and take that course to learn the terminology you can take a linkedin learning course to learn the terminology but once you learn that the second thing you're going to do like i said is revamp your resume and your linkedin to um, a, a project manager specific resume and linkedin meaning for example, if you're an operations manager that has managed 10 people on a day-to-day, -day, you know, operational, whatever, um, that's not necessarily project management specific, right? So you want to be able to say, okay, you manage these 10 people and these are the specific initiatives and projects and goals that you planned and executed from start to finish with your project team, right? happy saturday happy saturday um i am kind of rushing i gotta get to um my cycling class for this morning so i am putting my contacts in whenever i get my lashes done i um take my contacts out so i'm gonna put these in real quick i'm already dressed i just need to throw these in before i leave but yeah i'm doing soul cycle um today Yesterday was pretty chill. I, as y'all see, I saw I got my lashes done. I went to the office bar, but I ended up leaving. It was not a good experience at all. The food was okay, but the service was was trash. Um, so I ended up leaving there and coming back home. Um, I was talking to my friend Kim, who y'all saw in my first vlog. Um, so I was talking to her for a little while, just catching up. And then honestly, I watched YouTube and went to bed. Um, I was gonna get a little bit more work done, but I was like, child, I'm tired. Um, so I got some really good sleep in and we are about to go to the Soul Cycle class. While I am putting these contacts in, I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick, like I said, I was gonna do a quick review of my goals. And like, so, so that's what I'll do. So, um, my top three goals were like spending more time with God and my ways of doing that was through like prayer and journaling in the morning and reading the Bible in a year, um, which I have been doing prayer journaling pretty well over um, every morning, at least during the week. Um, I do need to catch up on my Bible reading. I'm like a week behind. <laughs> I do really good during the week, but on the weekends, it's, it's hard. Um, but I like the plan that we're doing. We're doing the Bible recap plan. Um, so that went, that's going okay. I need to catch up. So I'm probably going to catch up on my days tomorrow. Um, my second major goal was working out and losing at least 30 pounds this year. So at first, I didn't think I lost any weight, even though I would have been strip training with the new trainer that I have. So at first I was really disappointed, but, um, I started shifting my diet last week. Well, this week, and I already noticed a change in my, um, in my weight. So I'm already down like eight pounds actually, um, just in January. So that makes me happy. Um, but I do need to adjust my diet 
because I feel like I was doing a balanced diet, but I feel like to really kickstart my body, I'm having to do like low carb, no dairy. And just this week doing no, no doing low carb and no dairy, I cannot find a paper towel, um, is, is really, has really been, um, I cannot multitask. Why did I think I could do this? <laughs> um, but bear with me y'all, um, doing low carb and no dairy for real, has really made me feel so much lighter. Um, and it's crazy because I didn't really think that I met, that I ate that much dairy. Um, but like my bloating is down. Like I overall just have more energy. Like I was really struggling with my fatigue. Um, oh, and I don't know if I told y'all, but I got my blood work done because I was like, I don't really know what's going on. I'm so tired to the point where I have to take like naps throughout the day. And they told me that I was pretty much like pre-diabetic. Um, so I'm having to like really change my diet. It's reversible. Um, I'm not on any medication or anything, but it was kind of the kick that I needed, honestly, to stick to this weight <laughs> weight loss thing. Um, so, so yeah, I've been doing low carb, cutting out dairy, and it's been working very well. I've kind of been losing, at least this week, been losing like a pound a day doing that. Um, and that's why I've been also trying to incorporate more cardio. So I did rowing yesterday. I'm going to do cycling today, and then I'm doing boxing tomorrow. Um, and I think I'm going to stick with that, like try to get some extra cardio in for the month of February. But I am proud that I at least got the habit in of working out. And now I can honestly say that I'm enjoying it. Um, and so, yeah, so that was my second one. The third major goal was with content. And so I was trying to be consistent on TikTok and YouTube specifically. I feel like for me to get two videos out in January was a good start. But I really want to start posting on here at least once a week. Um, I'm thinking like what I would really like to do is like Sundays that'd be like vlogs or like lifestyle week in the life day in the life and then Wednesdays be like more educational um, but we'll see how that goes but I at least want to post one one time a week on YouTube and then I at least want to post three to five times a week on TikTok and IG well TikTok mainly um, so I've started like a 30 day content challenge starting yesterday so if you want to follow me on TikTok and follow that journey feel free but, um, but yeah, yesterday I stitched a video from a larger like career coach content creator and it did really, really well. It's at like 5,000 views. It's my second highest um, viewed video. I did it on how to transition into project management. So that one went really well. Today I'll probably post something about like my class pass classes or something like that. So overall it's going well. I do need to do better. So that's my goal is to become more consistent, not plan too much into it. Um, and yeah, so that's my third goal. My last goal is just growing out my business and my clients, which is in progress. I've been pitching. Um, I still have my client that I'm about to offboard, so I'll have more time to like pitch to other clients. I really want to be able to get um, at least three to five clients and then be able to bring on maybe one to two contractors to help with the with the workload. Um, I really want to be able to be in an opportunity where my business is able to provide opportunities, um, like actual job opportunities for other people, because just with layoffs and everything, it's like, okay, like as a career coach, I can write your resume. I can help you with the interview and stuff like that. But I really want to get to a place like where my business is doing so well, where I can provide people either a second stream of income or be able to help them keep a roof over their head. Um, and so I just pray that God will, um, you know, put my business in a place for me to be able to do that or at least start being able to employ and contract people this year. So um, overall, that's going well. Pitching is a whole, it's a whole thing. It 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 uh it it triggers all the anxieties and imposter syndrome. Like, who am I? This thirty year old, um, you know, project manager to be talking to these companies like hire like hire me, you know, and pay me, you know, an insane amount of money to help you with your business. Um, but I'm really pushing myself this year because the reality is that my clients get results. Um, I've never had a poor experience with the client so far. Um, and so I really have to trust my experience, trust the vision that God gave me and move forward on it. And because I do have good intentions behind it, um, I really feel like eventually he's going to bless it. I just feel like this is a lot of character development right now you know, happening and it's uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, so if you know anything, like if you're good with like sales pitching or if you have any recommendations on books or other creators, people here on this space, um, tag them below so I can... I can get some, I can get um, some skills, but okay, we have to go. It is, oh, 8.14, okay, we gotta go for real. All right, bye y'all. Let me 
tell you something. Soul, I don't know which one was worse. Soul Cycle or Solid Core. Because when I say my shirt is like, you can't see it, but my shirt is literally like soaking wet. <laughs> but it was a good workout. Listen, I be thinking I be working out hard. And then I go to these class pass classes and I am humbled. <laughs> I am humbled. You hear me? Because what the hell? What was that? What was that? Child. <laughs> I thought I was doing something. But anyway, it was a good workout. Um, I need to go get a protein shake. And then, um, I don't even know. I need to clean up. And then we're going to go to my um, lawn sister's brunch. So I will break out. yesterday hoodie okay <laughs> um so yesterday as you can see we had a good time at Kayla's brunch it was so fun um I ended up not even going to the professional women's paint and sit because the brunch was wild I was like let me not walk into let me not bombard this um paint and sit they talking about vision and goals <laughs> and I'm you know I was in I was in party mode at that point but uh, <laughs> So I ended up coming home. We didn't go out last night um, after the brunch. I was so tired. Uh, we had such a good time. Happy birthday, Kayla, if you're watching this. But um, today, so today is Sunday. On my Sabbath days, I really make it a point not to do anything one day of the week. So I always make one day of the week my Sabbath day where I literally just lay in the bed. I'm literally just not waking up. It is like 12 o'clock. <laughs> um and I usually, I like, like today I'm going to clean up a little bit, but I'm going to actually edit this wall that I'm about to post and I'll have that up um, in a few hours. But yeah, I always have one day of the week where I do absolutely nothing. Um, thoughts behind that or rationale behind that is just like when you think about God and his creation and how he rested on the seventh day, like just trusting him with the work that I've done throughout the week and trusting that it's enough than like taking one day to truly rest. So, um, I always encourage that for my busy professionals and entrepreneurs, you know, um, I don't believe in working, um, overworking. I don't believe in working seven days of the week. Like, yes, I, as you can see, I do have to do some work on the weekend sometimes, but um, because I go so hard from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. throughout the week and I'll film I'll film a week in the life so y'all can kind of see like what my routine is and how I'm able to juggle everything throughout Monday to Friday so that I can actually enjoy my weekends. Um, I'll do that and talk about time management, but I had a really good weekend. It's always good on the weekends too, and I do have on the dress, y'all. It is always good on the weekends to like just decompress and hang with people that you love, meet new people, have a good time. Um, and yeah, so today's going to be my rest day. I'm probably going to go, I may insert some clips, but I'm probably going to go to like draw bar or one of the coffee shops or something. I'm going to one edit this vlog. I am going to probably catch up on my Bible reading and then do my reading that I'm supposed to do for therapy this week. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and I will see y'all in the next